What's up, gang? Here is the warm-up for the week of October 26th. October 26th is uh, Audrey and my anniversary, so celebrating seven years. Happy anniversary, AB. It's been, uh, it's been a blast so far, so this, this warm-up is dedicated to us. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start from the ground and work our way up a little toes to the, uh, to the head warm-up as opposed to head to toes. So we're going to begin down here just kneeling so that we're sitting back on the uh, tops of our laces and you can kind of just rock here side to side. And if it's possible, I want you to go back and forth between kneeling in this kind of uh, classic saddle stance up to the balls of your feet. So, you know, it's compressing the knees uh, a lot, get some, some good flexion there. And we're going to go back and forth between how this is stretching our ankles and our toes and our feet. So it's about five times in each position. Just going to rock onto the balls of your feet and then back onto your laces. By the time most of us watch this video, uh, at the beginning of the week, the CrossFit Games for 2020 uh, will be complete, but they just started uh, not that long ago today. Here I'm shooting it on Friday, um, so hopefully some of you guys get the chance to check this out. If you're finding that it's a little bit uncomfortable on these transitions with your knees, feel free to use your hands for a little bit of uh, assistance. Okay, so uh, after we've gone through about five times, I want you to find the position that feels best for you. I think for me, that's down in the saddle position. And uh, we're just going to do some shoulder rolls. So while we're down here, just some basic shoulder rolls. Kind of getting a little two for one, just continuing to stretch into the ankles and our feet while we wake up our shoulders. Switch directions. Right, this will be a little bit different, and you'll find uh, some of the, the unique challenges that come with it. We're going to stay down here, and we're going to get some of the teacups. So if you've uh, never done this with us before, imagine that you're holding like saucer, uh, saucers with teacups on them, and you want to balance as you send your hands underneath, out to the side, and then over your head. The idea, if you had something in your hand, you would be able to make the adjustments so as not to spill. We'll do this between five and ten times going each direction. Imagine keeping a nice, steady, even tempo as you go through this move motion. It's surprisingly taxing if you've never done it before. Do your best to try and move through this motion with like the least effort as possible, if that makes sense. You don't want to be overly tight. You can kind of think about letting go. Let's go the opposite direction. So let go of some of the tension held in the shoulders. Think about the hands being kind of like, yeah, empty or weightless. And then just transition your way through this. Five, ten, each direction. Nice. After you finish that, if you can do it without having to stand, I want you to move down into a squat position. And we're just going to bounce down here. I promise I'll give you a chance to, to un, unsqueeze the legs here, but it's kind of nice now to take your ankle into another kind of orientation, more gravity uh, working on them, but a good way. Got to send some blood down to the legs. As we wrap up October this month uh, and get into November, we have some nice weather this week, and we're going to be uh, exposing our uh, running game a little bit more in the month of November. Not to say that they're going to be long runs, we just may run uh, more frequently. Um, so it's good to, to show some love to the lower lower part of our legs. Okay, if you need to stand up to kind of shake things out, you can. Feels kind of good sometimes. Maybe we'll just do that. Let's just add this to the uh, warm. Let's just get a little bit of shaking through your left foot. Try and find a rhythm and balance on that side and do the same thing on your right foot. Feels good. Get some blood flow back to the area. Try and relax it if it was kind of tense uh, as you were down in those kneeling and squatting positions. And we're going to get back down into the squat and we're going to get some knee pushes. Five to ten each direction. So I like to use my elbow or my shoulder to block this knee and then just gently 
push the other side out. Nice. Try the other side. Again, blocking with the elbow or the shoulder on one side and then pushing the knee slightly outward on the other. Five to ten reps. If you can do it without uh, having to stand, we're going to go back to the, uh, the first side here. We're going to get some thoracic rotation. So the idea is you want to rotate so that I'm pointing as close to straight up overhead with the straight arm as I can. And then we're going to try and take your elbow and touch the opposite knee. Rotate up, touch the opposite knee. Five times. Try to make nice. Smooth transitions. And we'll do the other side. Rotate up. Try and touch your knee. Nice. Then Turn to the side so you can see here a little bit better. Five times back and forth. We're going to round forward and maybe get a couple of touches in the ostrich bounce. And then we're going to arch back. Round forward and bounce. And then when you arch back, see if you can hold it. Maybe just briefly longer than you otherwise would. See if you can spot something a little bit further down the wall on your last one and hold it for just a few seconds. Nice. Next up and last off, we're going to get the little boneless uh, twist. So the idea, keeping your eyes pointed forward and just rotating on the axis of your spine here. We're just going to twist side to side and let the arms kind of go empty and carry their momentum around. You kind of feel like your torso gets wrung out like a towel or some toothpaste. If it feels good. You can go a little bit more aggressive so the arms swing out to the side or you can even try and turn it faster so you get the cool noodle arms. We'll go for about a minute. You find the tempo and style that works for you. We're just trying to evaluate where you hold tension, either in your trunk or through your shoulders, and find a way to just gently coax it to a more relaxed or more open state. Gradually let the arms stop swinging. Don't stop them abruptly, just let them come down. And it's time to get into our uh, general warm-up. Enjoy the day!